My name is Aman Agarwal. Our studio is called Chart Voids and our practice is based in Chandigarh, India. This project is called Tasha. It's basically a jewelry and a trousseau store for ethnic traditional Indian clothes, more focused on the bridal wear. The concept really emanated from the approach that has been dominant in the Indian fashion and clothing industry for quite a while now, where you have these high power machines and looms and everything. And on one hand, you have these traditional Indian craftsmen and these hand embroideries, the very interesting zari works, gota works, and all those kind of stuff. And you know, over a period of time, this thing has been gaining a lot of importance, even internationally, the hand embroideries that the Indians do. But it's not the same with the construction industry. The artisans are losing work, you know, the real Indian traditional craftsmen, how they used to use the materials, you know, using the same material in a thousand different ways. Uh, that's vanishing in the name of uh, what I would call globalization. So this store is actually an attempt to sort of revive those craft practices and integrate them with the modern construction industry. The basic brief of the client was that his store should stand out. But, you know, we just didn't want to do a very, very flashy store. We wanted to put it in the right context where its connection to what it is selling is very, very strong. And the aim of the studio where we want these craft practices of India coming forth into our into the mainstream, as we would say, of construction. So we started with four motifs. Motifs which are actually like the modules or the basic elements of a lot of jali patterns, floor inlay patterns. So those four motifs we selected and then we started using those motifs on different scales, in different materials, in the furniture. The jalis that we designed, which were actually cut using laser, were also a combination of all these motifs at different scales. Bridal wear in India, you know, it's a big thing because uh, Indians, I believe, they spend really lavishly on their weddings. It's always a big family affair where you have eight, nine people coming in just to sort of select a couple of dresses maybe sometimes, but very expensive dresses, yes, definitely. So, you know, the, the focus was that we get the people who are really interested to shop and people who are not really interested to sort of sit and watch TV or sort of entertain them in a different place. So that's why we created those private lounges for only four people and just, just into those lounges we had this, uh, you know, uh, we had these huge TVs where people could sit and chat and talk and maybe enjoy a cup of coffee. The customer's response to the shop, it was very, very interesting. They, they did a proper launching where they had invited a select clientele. And uh, apart from the shops, everybody was asking was the interior designer or, you know, they, they were very, very overwhelmed with the the overall space that we had created. The overall look of the space was uh, very close to the ethnic character of the store or the clothing, you know, the products that we were selling. So, yes, it was very good.